This is EDUC 4703, Problem and Inquiry-Based Learning. Title of this video clip is PBL in Various Settings, and this is one of two video clips on this particular topic. The analysis questions for this video clip are as follows. Number one, how is PBL slash IBL being implemented in each of the instances cited in this video clip? Number two, what is the role of performance-based assessment, that is, giving a presentation or demonstrating what has been learned, or displaying the tasks and competencies that have been developed in each of the instances cited in this video clip? Number three, what roles do the teacher instructors play in each of the instances cited in this video clip? Number four, how much independence do the students and learners have in each of the instances cited in this video? This video clip and the next access is a series of video clips that have been posted publicly on YouTube. These clips describe various implementations of PBL slash IBL in high schools and in instances of higher education in countries around the world. You're expected to view each of the clips and discuss what you have viewed. This video will also be provided as a presentation available in the UIT Black course shell from which you can click on the links. So the first set of links is taken from PBL in higher education, that is universities and colleges, and K-12 through schools, particularly an example of the Trinity School of Medicine at, at a university level, and there's a link for that. PBL in civil engineering at Limerick University, and there's a link for that. And PBL in aviation engineering in a high school, and there is a link for that. In the second of these two slides, again, we're looking at examples of PBL in higher education, that is universities and colleges, and K-12 schools. First link is an example of PBL in the building design in a high school. The second is an integrated study program that you can, again, see in a high school. And then there's a grade two inquiry-based learning example at the bottom of that slide. The theory for this particular video clip can be found at Problem-Based Learning, a Paradigm Shift, or Passing FAD, and the link is given on the screen. And there's also a, an introduction to inquiry-based learning, and you will find that at the link on the screen as well. That brings us to the synthesis questions for this video clip, and they are as follows. Number one, characterize various types of PBL, IBL shown in the video clips. Number two, why does there seem to be more intervention by the teacher instructor in some of the instances cited in these videos as compared to other instances? What might be the impact of the greater intervention on the learning in achieved? And number three, can you detect a relationship between the need to cover specific content and the amount of freedom given to learners to develop their own solutions to the problems? If so, what is the nature of the relationship? And why might that relationship exist? That brings us to the end of the synthesis questions and the end of this video clip. Mm -hmm.